So good morning, everyone. Good to see so many of you here. Let's begin by being seated in a comfortable position on a cushion or on a chair, on a cushion on the floor or on a chair, sitting cross-legged if we can. We can, if we are sitting on a cushion, the purpose of the cushion is to make sure our hips are a little elevated and our knees are falling down towards the floor. It helps one stay in this cross-legged posture for a longer time without feeling any strain. You can raise your hands above your head, interlock your fingers, look up, pull your spine up, your back up, looking up, and drop your hands back on your knees. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. Take a deep breath in and exhale. Take a few breaths and really settle into this posture. Let's do a few breath clearing exercises before we get into the practice. Closing our right nostril with our thumb, we inhale to the left. Close the left and exhale to the right. Again, close the right nostril with the thumb and inhale to the left. Close the left nostril and exhale to the right. One more time. Close the right nostril, inhale to the left. Close the left nostril, exhale to the right. Now on the other side. Close the left nostril, inhale to the right. Close the right nostril, exhale to the left. Close the left, inhale to the right. Close the right, exhale to the left. One more time. Close the left and inhale to the right. Close the right, exhale through the left. Drop your hands. Take a few deep breaths using both nostrils.
Really settle into this posture. Let your awareness sink into the body. It's contact with the floor. Have a sense of ease and peace. Really one with the practice today. Really one with this posture. We can set a, <clears throat> a brief motivation before we begin, which is that um, we can generate an intention to, to cultivate an attitude of joyfulness, which often begins the first stage, which often begins with paying attention to things, noticing them carefully, followed by developing a sense of curiosity about it, and then taking joy in what you have observed and what you have noticed. So it's something that we often either don't have the time to do or we're so set in our ways and our routines of familiar ways of apprehending the world that we don't really notice. Take the time to stop and stop and stare, as they say, at the flowers by the wayside or faces of interesting looking people, the light shining off of leaves, so let's generate an intention today to be <clears throat> to be to cultivate this attitude of of joyfulness one of the four brahma viharas joyfulness and it can be with the little things and keeping this intention in mind let's Let's begin with, let, let's begin applying this with our practice. So what we are noticing in our practice is the breath. So let's play, pay close attention to the breath as it enters and leaves the body. And by paying close attention in this way, all sorts of observations come up. Notice them and let them go. Notice them and let them go. But have a quality of loving attention as the breath enters and leaves the body. Notice how it is during one inhale and exhale and the next inhale and exhale. So let's begin for the next 20 minutes. In shamatha practice, for those of us who are new, the idea is to train the mind by focusing on a single point of, a single object of uh, uh, focus, choosing a single object to focus on, which today, like every day, we take as the breath. So simply alighting on top of the breath. The breath happens of its own accord. So just plopping down on top of it and observing it very lightly. Our bellies usually expand as we inhale and they contract as we exhale. So we can keep our attention there. Or we feel sensations at the tip of our nostril if we are suited for a more subtle practice this morning as the breath enters and leaves. Choose one point and let's all 
lovingly observe the breath, its nuances, its features on every inhale and exhale. No need to get caught in any thought about it, but let's pay very close attention to the nature, to the quality of each breath that enters and leaves our body. So let's begin.
remember that it's a quality of loving attention that we are bringing to our breath. So let's observe how the breath enters and leaves the body. From every moment or even milli moment to every milli moment. Developing a sense of loving awareness, which could then turn into curiosity and joy for the moment by moment experience of our breath.
slowly coming back to where we are sitting, tuning in now to larger, to, to other senses, to the sensation, the tactile sensation of being seated. Feel the contact between our butt bones and whatever we are sitting on. Take a moment to notice it. Now, tuning into another sense, the sense of sound, hearing. Listen to whatever is in our, in our environment. Take a moment to notice that. Now, tuning into our smell, sense of smell, do we notice Take a deep breath. See if the quality of air has any sense, has any smell or scent that rides along. Take a moment to notice that. Now opening your eyes gently, seeing the environment around you. Take a, take a moment to notice the quality of light streaming in. Paying attention in this way to our daily life as it unfolds for us moment by moment is a practice that can, that has many benefits, um, including cultivating a more joyful heart, a more, a heart of gratitude for every, every, every little thing that is there in our field of awareness that we are able to experience. cultivating this heart of gratitude by paying attention is one way to utilize the benefits of paying attention another is to as we were as we uh, motivated at the start of the session is to generate a deep joy when we pay attention which often begins by noticing the features, the various features and the nuances of things around us. And yet another aspect of paying attention is the shamatha practice, which trains the mind to develop a calm stability no matter what is going on around it. So maybe we can reflect on this, these various aspects during the course of the day, and we dedicate the, all the positivity that we have generated during the last half an hour. We dedicate it to keeping in mind the, the bigger, a bigger concept of bodhicitta, developing a mind of bodhicitta, a mind of full awakening for the benefit of all sentient beings. And we dedicate this to those who have not had the chance to practice in this way this morning that they too may be able to tune in to all their senses, to all their experiences of the day. And perhaps our own example as we go about our day could, could provoke or inspire the same in, in others, whomever we meet.
We also dedicate for the swift return of Tushita Delhi and other FPMT centers, our co-founder uh, Lamazo Parimpoche. So thank you all very much and see you tomorrow at the same time.